Hey guys, welcome to Ninjas vs. Starbucks, why the 80s were so much better than today. Anyway, this is a small snippet from a discussion I had with Dan the Wolfman. The full discussion is posted on his channel, linked in the description below. Make sure to check it out. We talk about the best action movie stars, best martial arts movie stars, best movies in that era, and so much more. So you won't want to miss it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this little snippet of... These are both true stories, by the way, this Ninjas and this Starbucks story, and I tie them in and basically you will realize how much better the 80s were. The interesting thing about growing up on an army base in that era is like a lot of guys would go overseas for like a year or more at a time, which is how like Chuck Norris learned martial arts, for example. So guys would take the martial arts back with them. So we had these jujitsu guys as next door neighbors and then also down the street, one of my friend's dad was like a ninja. He was like Frank Dukes in a way. Uh, and I don't know if you want to talk about Frank Dukes later or not. That's an interesting discussion and topic altogether. But anyway, I remember we, what he would do. And this just kind of um, makes me laugh and reminds me about the 80s because there's no way in hell parents would let their kids do this stuff now. So he would do these demonstrations, like all the neighborhood kids, uh, basically friends of his son, would go there and we would have like these throwing knives and we throw them in his shed or whatever to see if we can make them stick. But the demonstrations he would do, and he would do this blindfolded. He would literally either have you lay down and put an apple on your chest or have you stand up and put an apple on your head and slice it like perfectly without cutting you. Now I never volunteered for that, but he never cut any kid. But can you imagine a parent like allowing their kid do that. And here's the thing. It's not like parents didn't know because I told my parents, oh, you wouldn't believe what this guy down the street did. He cut this apple in half on this kid. My parents are just like cool as opposed to you're not going there anymore. So it's just funny how different the 80s were. You know, it's just like you could get away with I, shit I, like I, that. I, parents are cool with it, you know? Well, yeah. I mean, kids were out playing and getting black guys. Oh, you broke your ankle uh, on your BMX. Cool. Whatever. It was no big deal. And I think the 80s created harder men than whatever these things we have nowadays are. So, um, you know, the times, I, I think that's important. And I think that's why we got to bring back, make the 80s and 90s great again, which is, is what your channel is all about. The focus on the channel. Yeah. Um, here's a very interesting story I'll share. It's not just men we got to make hard again. Not that necessarily we should have to make women hard, but here's how weak. I think this is a comment on our society. And my wife told me this. She had to call me because she was just like, what the F, man? Basically, she went to Starbucks today. She got a coffee. And the girl working there is wearing a mask. It's no no big deal, whatever. My wife is just curious. And she said, I just out of curiosity, like, is that still company policy or is this your own decision? And then you know what the response was? You're triggering my fight or flight response. It's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like that triggers your fight or flight response. Like this is a threat to you as opposed to like a guy uh, loving you in a dark house. A gentle a like, question this is a threat. threat. Yeah. Like that's the big threat and you're all, all freaking stressed out because of that. That's crazy. Perfect example of how pathetically weak your society has become. That's, but anyway. Uh, whatever the topic's about, we're not talking specifically about that topic because we're here on the great, uh, you know, gods that run our lives. But um, it could be about anything in the fact that that is the response, that people can't even have a discussion or a debate. That's not even a debate. That's just a question. I mean, that's not even to the level of a debate. And, and what's wrong with a debate anyway? People used to be able to debate and listen to other people's opinions and be actually intellectual uh, and intellectually honest instead of reacting with an emotional response. Everyone's a fragile child that's ready to go off and do bad things or uh, run to the room. Like, it, it's so these are children. They're basically growing children, and it's it's ridiculous. But let's go back. It is to, just funny. Yeah, it's just funny. Going back to the martial arts, I only tie that in because it's not like my wife's an anti-mask or anything. She's actually required to wear a mask at her work. She was just, like, curious if this was just a company policy still, you know. But the funny thing is, so essentially in the 80s, you could get, you know, apple sliced in half off the top of your head. That doesn't trigger a fight-or-flight response, but apparently asking that question does. 
So anyway, that's the difference between the 80s and the 2020. Why we want to make the 80s and 90s great again. 